Hi folks, I'm Michael from Virtual Shape Research and here I would like to show you some new features of the minor update release Realtime Renderer 3.1. So we got a regular Rhino model here, casting a shadow on the ground plane and a background which is gradient to colors in this case. The background can be any color or a VSR environment, it doesn't matter for the following feature. I'm opening the snapshot command and choose the renderer mode ray tracing. Having done that, I have now a new output pop-up box available, allowing me to create an alpha mask, respectively an alpha mask and the background in addition to the regular picture. Hitting apply, the creation of the ray trace pictures is started, showing me a progress bar. I can now close this window and continue working in Rhino if I like to. The images are processed in the background. Okay, as we all don't have time to waste, I'm fast forwarding this minute. As you can see, we have created three pictures now. Editing the main picture, for example in GIMP or Photoshop, you can add the alpha mask and the background picture on different layers. Using the alpha mask, you can now display your model with its shadows in front of an arbitrary background without the need to render it in Rhino again. So let's choose the background layer, a color gradient, and here we go. Like mentioned before, the shadow is casted on any background. For this release, the material editor has been redesigned. Options are well arranged now and therefore easier to find. The amount of materials in the free add-on library has been more than doubled, containing more than 300 now. In addition to that, also a lot of new environments are available. The preview of materials has been enhanced, showing now also textures and bump maps, making it easier for you to spot the material you are looking for. Alright, let's import these materials. Creating a simply shaped geometry. And activating the VSR retem renderer mode. When assigning materials with textures, it often happens that the mapping doesn't look right. In this case, you should select the object and press F3 to access its properties. Change the pop-up to texture mapping and choose the appropriate projection type for your kind of geometry. The texture option now has an intensity slider, allowing you to display the texture more or less dominant. In the top of the material menu, a new button has been introduced, which allows you to delete all unused materials. Ok, let's add a bump map out of the library to this material. Well, the next new option I would like to show you is in the environment editor. When clicking on the ground plane button, you can see a bump map option has been added to this window. Let's change the ground plane color to something blue. Be aware that you need to activate the show ground plane option if you actually want to see it. I'm also increasing the reflectivity of the ground plane and moving my geometry so it intersects with it. Now I'm activating the bump map option and select the water JPEG out of the add-on library. While bump mapping in general happens in real time, reflection on the ground plane with bump mapping requires ray tracing. Therefore I activate the VSR display settings and check on the option use ray tracing. 
The ray tracing calculation takes some time and the result is smoothly fading into the current Retime Renderer display. If you directly want to see the current state, you can switch off the option Fade In. You can now see how your geometry reflects on the ground plane with bump mapping effects. To see the ray tracing progress, you can activate the Show FPS option. The progress is then displayed in the bottom left corner of the viewport. The Realtime Renderer plugin now also contains the toolbar WebGL export. For more general information about this toolbar, please refer to the video VSR WebGL Export 1.0. The Realtime Renderer contains an updated version, which allows you to choose the texture size for the created result. You also got different color styles now for the HTML page to be created, including a full screen option. With this function, I can create a 3D HTML page of my model, which can then be inspected, rotated and zoomed in any state-of-the-art web browser. With the support of the Realtime Renderer, it also contains the ground plane, shadows and the environment now. This plugin containing the two toolbars can be tested for free for three weeks. Just download the test version from www.virtualshape.com. Thank you for watching.